So Berlin was our next stop after Moscow. So we've just been dropped off in town and we're going to be meeting with Vanessa, who is our local influencer in Berlin. She's going to be looking after us today and she's going to be taking us around these streets, checking out all the different street art. I mean, this area is very, very cool though. I'm liking it already. There's some amazing kind of stencils on the wall. It is very, very cool. I'm, I'm excited to hear about more of the artists and kind of the concept behind the art. Done by the Rainbow Crew or Rainbow Collective, they're called like this for pretty obvious reasons. They take emptied out Coca Cola bottles and they just tear it down from the buildings, creating this rainbow looking like effect. I'd been to different cities and seen a lot of street art before, but I could not believe the amount that was in Berlin. It's really, really fascinating how much street art there actually is in Berlin. I did, had no idea. And now we have come down to the East Side Gallery, and it feels pretty amazing to be here because this is such a kind of incredible part of history, this is the Berlin Wall. It's just mad to kind of be here by it and just to think about, you know, why this was put up and when it came down and yeah, it's just an amazing part of history really. So we're gonna make a quick stop at the Barn Roastery. I'm really very excited to check this out. So let's go and take a look. Oh, it smells amazing. Barn Roastery was a brilliant little coffee shop and I was able to pay via the PayPal app. The coffee was delicious and it was amazing just to sit down and relax, have a coffee and take some time to chill. So we're back at the apartment now. Today in Berlin has been amazing. It was so awesome to check out all the different street art and just have an explore around. Tomorrow we are catching a flight and we are on our way to Paris, which is the next stop. So Berlin, it was short but sweet. Stop three, complete, no cash spent. Next stop, Paris. Just touched down in Paris. I was so looking forward to being back in Paris. As some of you guys might know, it's a very special place to me as it's where Alex and I got engaged. We have arrived in the city of Paris. Today we are going to be checking it out, just having a little roam around and we're also going to the Back to the Future 30th year anniversary where I'm getting dressed up as Doc Brown. So let's see how it goes. So we headed to the Rex where they were going to be screening the Back to the Future trilogy for the 30th year anniversary. It was amazing to see all of the details that they pulled off. And they even had one of the original DeLoreans. So we've arrived at the premiere. I felt a little bit kind of um, nervous in the car about wearing this outfit, but actually I'm feeling all right now. Here is the DeLorean, which is looking awesome. And we are just about to go in and watch the movies, all three of them in French. I'm not usually one to dress up, but this was pretty fun. The event was amazing and they even had an orchestra that played all of the music from the movie and that was definitely my favourite part. Again, it was a very short stop in Paris as we had to head on to Barcelona. We had an awesome time and Paris, you'll always be one of my favourites. We are now at the airport. We're on our way to Barcelona for Paris and we'll be back for you soon. Let's do this Barcelona. It was 
nice touching down in Barcelona as we were finally going to get some sun. I definitely couldn't wait to eat as I love tapas. Welcome to Barcelona. We touched down yesterday and today we are going to be meeting up with Josef and he is taking us on a bike tour which I'm very excited about. We're going to be kind of biking around the city and I might even be getting a tattoo so um, we'll see how that goes. Josef was going to be the guy who was going to show us around Barcelona. It was so great to meet him and spend the day with him as he's a very nice guy and definitely someone that has followed their own path. I was really excited about jumping on the fat bikes as I'd never done this before. Also, cycling a bike around the city is one of the best ways you can see everything. So there's one more thing I wanted to get done before I left Barcelona, and that was get a new tattoo. Josef had hooked me up with his tattoo artist, Javier. He was a super talented guy, and I felt privileged being able to get tattooed by him. Wow, that's incredible. It's with me for life. Yeah, hope so. <laughs> That's really cool, man. Thank you so much. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's, that's so wicked. Much. We did it. So Barcelona, you're now with me forever. Stop five complete, no cash spent, and we'll see you soon, Cape Town. I love Cape Town and the contrast between the city and the big mountains is incredible. We drove straight to our Airbnb and dropped off our bags. Welcome to Cape Town, we have arrived. We're only here for a small amount of time before we head on to Ushuaia. But whilst we're here, we're doing quadricopting. We have got an amazing apartment which we are staying at. So it's gonna be really, really great. We went online and managed to pre-book our gyrocopter flight via PayPal. I've been in small aircrafts and helicopters before, but I'd never been in a gyrocopter, so I was unbelievably excited. We got our cameras ready and belted into the gyrocopters. Taking a gyrocopter flight over the city of Cape Town is definitely up there in the top things that I've done. The only way I can explain it is that it's like a flying motorbike. You're completely exposed and it definitely gets the adrenaline pumping.
We then drove back to our Airbnb to capture some of the amazing landscapes that our apartment looked over. Even though we were only in Cape Town for a day, it was an amazing stop. And Cape Town is a great city that I cannot wait to explore more of. So stop seven was complete, no cash spent. And I can't believe we were moving on to our last stop, Ushuaia. We had a lot of flying ahead of us, but I couldn't wait to arrive at our next destination. It's hard to take in that we'd almost completed this epic journey. See you at the end of the world.